What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at out there. Hopefully, hope everyone's having a wonderful Thursday. At least it's Thursday here in California. It is about 5.22 p.m. here, California time. We do have some larger scale movement taking place out here in Hawaii right now. A 4.2 earthquake striking just southeast of Pahala at a fairly shallow depth there at about 10 kilometers or so below the surface. Uh, this earthquake is underneath an automatic status. It could get revised here soon. Um, it did show up pretty nicely on the seismograph station here at the Hot Caves, Hawaii area. Uh, definitely flatlined that pretty nicely. Uh, again, this could get revised to something lower, something higher. Uh, it all depends on uh, exact uh, information out here. Let me see what we got for some of these magnitudes here. Uh, oh, a lot of these stations showing up in the five range, uh, potentially. Um, quite a few upper fours. These are the estimated magnitudes here on the right side of various stations uh, out there. Uh, in order to get a preliminary earthquake report, the computer systems input all these numbers and they spit out an average, so to speak. An average depth below the surface, an average magnitude, and an average location. Uh, but a lot of these uh, um, stations over here showing upper fours and even possibly into the five category. So we'll see if uh, this gets revised or not. More than likely, it probably will. I see it going up more than it going down. Um, it is kind of in an odd zone. Most of the earthquake activity that does occur out here is uh, fairly deep, about 30 kilometers or so. That's normally where we see most of the activity. So this will probably get revised here soon uh going to cover hawaii a little bit because they are kind of rocking and rolling out here today it looks like right it's just south of the crater region uh we've been, been watching elevated tilt activity here in the past couple months uh we are still i believe currently at the highest level of inflation since 2018 since that 2018 eruption there that happened around the uh, lanali estates area Goodness, that was kind of crazy. Uh, could see that happen again. Most of this earthquake activity is kind of uh, kicking off here. This is a little diagram, little overview of the big island, Mauna Loa, Kilauea. Um, and it shows the rift zone areas. Most of the earthquake activity has been occurring around these rift zones that kind of look like uh, you know, these little railroad tracks, but those are indeed rift zones. Uh, with the craters and vents mainly being up here uh, and also over here across the south or across the uh, eastern rift zone. That's where the other uh, area is of interest when it comes to intrusions. Uh, so kind of watching that. Most of the, Again, most of the activity occurring south of the crater region. I still think that we may see something open up out here potentially um, in terms of fissure activity. But uh, then again, you never know. It may be confined here to the uh, Lava Lake area uh, where we've seen the last couple eruptions confined. Uh, to that region that's just been filling up that uh, that area. Here's a little satellite view. I think an older one back when, when it was uh, in an eruption status. Not for sure when this uh, image was taken, but uh, you can see that this uh, is filling up. Uh, but I firmly believe potentially we could see some uh, activity stir up out here where we've seen some older um, fissure activity in the years past. And then again, it may happen over here across the eastern rift zone. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it, but it... Most of the earthquake activity but confined here to this region. So we'll continue to watch that and report back on uh, any changes there that may take place, right? Kind of interesting. Uh, the Hawaii area, of course, is an interesting volcano. It's a, considered a hot spot. That is where the plate, the lithosphere here, is moving over a portion of the asthenosphere where we get that uh, mantle plume building up here, creating that hot spot. So, of course, that's going to drag along throughout time uh you can pretty much see it here on any map uh the ocean map here is a really cool one to see how the pacific plate has been moving to the northwest uh taken taken with it uh, new islands or forming new islands as this heads to the uh, uh to the northwest the pacific plate that is and uh, a lot of these islands have been eroded throughout time uh, and this is currently where we are at. Eventually, we'll see further islands forming out here uh, in due time. Uh, Lohi Seamount, one of the uh, uh, more newer ones out here uh, in the uh, northern rift zone. 
pretty cool to see. You can definitely see that line of activity there stretching up towards the uh, Aleutian Trench. Um, so, yeah, that's that's a hot spot activity. Um, areas like the uh, Iceland activity, the um, oceanic crust out there, or in this case, the rift zone, right? Uh, you get uh, you get something similar to this. This is the oceanic spreading ridge center um, where volcanic activity forms, which is a divergent plate boundary. That's where the Iceland activity takes place up here across the Reckonis region where Grindavik is a uh, position. We'll check this out here in a second. We'll look at earthquake activity, but uh, that's a type of uh, divergent zone. And of course, subduction zones here are the big ones, stuff that you see uh, along the Cascades. This is very similar to a Cascade uh, scenario here uh, with the uh, a subduction plate here meaning the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. And you can pick, kind of picture this being the Cascades here with uh, numerous volcanoes there from the subducting slab or the subducting plate. Uh, and then you get all sorts of stuff going on there with the uh, uh, volcano activity. So definitely an interesting uh, um, area that we live on, a uh, planet that we live on for sure. Uh, let me check out the Iceland activity here real quick. Seen a couple videos floating around on YouTube uh, talking about hundreds of earthquakes today. I am not seeing hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes today, so I'm not for sure where they're getting their information from, but it's not from obviously the official sites out here. Um, I'm only seeing roughly about 22 earthquakes in total here in the last 12 hours and only a handful here across the Grindavik region where we're still watching the activity, obviously, uh, of con concern uh it is continuing to inflate out there the latest inflation chart uh shows us right here that uh, we are still on an uptick up trend here in inflation this is the vertical up displacement here is when the um eruption happened there we're leaving a little bit of that tension a little bit of that inflation for a day or so but now we're going back back up so we're recharging the system and uh, it's only a matter of time before we see uh, something new pop up here. And again, the general area uh, where they believe it's going to happen is right around the magma intrusion area. And uh, that stretches from right around the area where we've seen our most recent fissure activity down through Grindavik and then out uh, into the ocean there just offshore. Here's one of the little maps here. It's basically within this red zone. Uh, but originally, they, they claimed that the magma intrusion extends a little bit further out offshore as well. Uh, but it's not centered in this one. But this is the most recent. Uh, is this pretty recent? This was a 22nd uh, area of concern. You know, and there's always a likelihood of maybe some areas outside of these zones, the main zones, uh, with some fissure activity opening up. You just never know, right? We can't 100% accurately predict where a fissure is going to open up, how long the ground's going to be able to hold. It just, you know, it doesn't work that way. We can't. Mother Nature's going to do whatever Mother Nature wants to do. That's how I've seen it my entire life. <laughs> uh, 4.7 down in the Tonga region. Pretty deep earthquake activity out there. So we do have some, uh, some movement going on here across the Pacific Plate. Also over here in the Indian Ocean. I got a 5.2. This is a divergent boundary. Got uh, quite a bit of uh, oceanic um, separation out there. Kind of looks like a zipper, so to speak, with some new uh, new land being formed. So we'll continue to watch that and, of course, report back on uh, any changes here. USGS still reporting a 4.2. It uh, may take them a little bit to... Uh, looks like it's been reviewed. It got updated to a 4.4. Told you. Told you guys, we'd probably see something a little bit on the updated side, just looking at the, um, the origins there of some of those magnitudes. So that has been revised now to a 4.4. There we go. Looks like it updated now here on the main map. That was definitely a pretty nice uh, signature there on the graph. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, and, of course, it looks like, uh, looks like that the level there below the surface is holding steady at about 12 kilometers or so. We'll continue to watch this and any further development uh, as we continue to march on here. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Just want to do a quick update on this activity in uh, Hawaii. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later.